And rhinoceros populations are shrinking too. One of the best hopes for their survival may be in Texas. It's a group of black and white rhinos brought to the United States as a kind of extinction insurance policy. Our Kristen Whiting has the story of a wildlife center where a new arrival is bringing new hope. This could be the warm savannas of Africa. Instead, it's the open grasslands of Texas, fenced-in properties of the Fossil Rim Wildlife Center. It's home to both the black and white African rhino, both endangered species. Black rhinos came to Fossil Rim in 1992 uh, as a cooperative effort with the government of Zimbabwe. And what we tried to work out at that point was there was, there was poaching in Africa. They were concerned about losing all of their rhinos. And so the animals that came to the United States were basically an insurance policy against extinction. This conservation center in Glen Rose, Texas, has been breeding rhinos ever since. And today, they're celebrating a new arrival. Inside this giant crate is Kusamona, a 2,400-pound black rhinoceros. His father was sent from Fossil Rim to Australia to help a breeding program there. And now Kusamona, his son, has come home. He's an animal that can breed with our animals at Fossil Rim, but he can also breed with other animals in this country. Okay. After 58 hours of travel, Kusamona is ready for his new quarters. And after exploring them a bit, he's ravenous. You want some of this? Kusamona will remain in quarantine for 30 days before he's free to breed with the three female rhinos here at the center. The real significance to bringing this, this new bull in is that he's totally unrelated to any other animals in this country. He's, he's a brand new bloodline. This bull's new bloodline will diversify the rhino population, creating a stronger gene pool and increasing the population's resistance to disease. But more importantly, if everything goes well, Kusamona will add a few new additions to the population here. Humans are the adult rhino's only predator in the wild. Black rhinos are killed in Africa for their valuable horns, which are sold as decorations, medicinal cures, and aphrodisiacs. In the last 30 years, their numbers have dropped more than 95% because of habitat loss and poaching. The future of this animal is really in the hands of human beings and if we don't move aggressively uh, we could lose this endangered species and of course many others. Kusamona's 12,000 mile journey is just a small step in the effort to protect the rhinos from extinction. Six black rhinos and 11 white rhinos now call that Fossil Rim Wildlife Center their home. And by the way, the rhino's horn is made out of keratin. That's the same material that's in your fingernails. Of course, much harder and much more of it.